Hey honey munchers, it's my birthday and I decided to get up a bit earlier than I have done in a while and see the sunrise. I thought I'd missed it and then as I was driving to the beach I thought, oh, Phoebe you doofus, the sunrise isn't visible from the beach. So I just went for a walk and semi saw the end bit of it. When is getting up early and going to the beach a bad idea? I was a bit worried about being killed, but um, <laughs> and it's a Monday, so I thought there's not gonna be many people out, like dog walkers, but there are a few and I felt safe, so. Anyway, now I'm gonna go and buy some frozen raspberries to make some borage. Exciting times. <laughs> I've just done a few jobs in the garden and I think it's time to get dressed. Bigger Monday, this is a bit of a weird one. <laughs> I'm home alone at the moment but I plan to go see a friend this afternoon. All going well. I say that because my birthday is a bit different this year in that I'm on some medication to try and sort out my gut troubles and I kind of have to eat really bland uninspiring specific foods at specific points in the day I don't really want to go into it because well number one it's something I kind of want to keep to myself but number two as someone who hasn't experienced an eating disorder I'm finding this whole thing triggering and I think that's a weird thing to well I thought initially when I voiced that a weird thing to say because my understanding of the word triggering is that it triggers something you've experienced but I think just through osmosis and being a young person in today's world of the gender I am, you absorb things or you can't help picking up <laughs> certain messages. So I'm pretty much just trying to meal prep 
three days at a time. I managed to make food that's moderately flavorful and I'm trying to just make this birthday not about food, uh, which for me in particular is quite shit. I'm also just feeling very subpar and if I ate anything exciting or normal to me, um, I would feel worse. So moving that aside because it's a whole depressing thing, yeah, it's a quiet birthday. For many reasons, I need to do some boring things now like organize health insurance and call up Centrelink. So I'm gonna do that. Last night the crown became available and I'm gonna watch the first episode. It's just such good quality television. What a flippin' treat. Speaking of quality storytelling, in Melbourne I can't believe this, but we've had over um, two weeks now of zero days and zero deaths, zero cases and zero deaths of COVID. So a lot of things are opening up. My dad will be able to come down from Canberra um, in a weekend or two and yeah, which I know is a very privileged, wonderful thing to be able to say because a lot of the rest of the world is heading in the other direction. But when we were having our winter lockdown, I did find a bit of comfort in escaping into the odd vlog filmed overseas where people are enjoying their summer, able to go on holidays. Um, so while I'm not a ball of energy, I'm just gonna try and not feel guilty about enjoying the things we can do. Like, I might even go and see a film this week. And while the pickings are really slim, um, coincidentally, as cinemas have opened, one chain of cinemas that do like film festivals can do their British Film Festival, which is kind of like my favorite one every year. Maybe not my favorite, but it always has the most films I want to see. So all going well and no more cases arise. Um, the Sir Sharon uh, Kate Winslet film, Ammonite, by the filmmaker Francis Lee, who made God's Own Country, is showing. That looks amazing. And then just like a fun empowerment film called Misbehaviour is showing with Kira Knightley in it. Just a quick side note though. I am trying to film but vegans at the moment and if you see me in them, sample some food and that feels contrary to what I've just said. <laughs> uh, I'm just taking one mouthful of them and using all my recipe development skills to try and and my family's feedback to make the recipe a bit blindly so I'm not really eating them which is a big shitty shithole but um, I want to get some but vegans out for the end of the year if I can because I'm not bringing out a cookbook so you make it work with what you can manage I guess <laughs> Hello, it's quite late. Um, I really made the most of this day, I think I can say. I had a lovely afternoon visiting a bookshop, a lovely independent bookshop that, unlike some other bookshops I've heard, weren't like encouraging you to hurry up and also not touch anything. 
and there were only like one or two other people in the store while I was there so I felt really safe and then and I bought three books with some birthday money. I've been wanting some more fiction, light-hearted, really absorbing reads so I got two books, debut books from Australian authors, actually Melbourne based authors that I've heard good things from. A Lonely Girl is a Dangerous Thing. It's like a young woman who was a violin child prodigy, grappling with your identity once you're sort of past that stage, having a really strict parents. Yeah, sounds good. And this one is a romantic comedy. I wish the cover wasn't so highlighter pink, but whatever. Yeah, it's just a fun rom-com, but a queer rom-com. And then I also got this one, which you've probably seen around the place. Anyone read it? Thoughts? Hopefully I learned some new things from it. I'm sure I will. My brother surprised me and I had pointed this out like ages ago, but totally forgotten about it. Little vintage Timex. Winnie the Pooh watch and Christopher Robin's reading. I'm Jam, said Sam or something. Sam I am to Winnie the Pooh. Anyway, I've never really worn a watch apart from one I had when I was seven and loved so much. Then after going there, I went and visited my friend and we only had a snippet of time, but we just chatted over green, no, over peppermint tea and then went and kicked the footy, which was so much fun. I haven't done that since I was like 15 and I can still do it. It's just so good to get out and do new things, you know? be in new places, especially on your birthday when you're feeling a bit buzzy. I know I didn't film much of my out and about interesting bits, but it was a really good day. I'm really chuffed with how much of a reader I've become over the last few handful of years, but I'm um, really proud of myself that I've read a lot of non-fiction this year, but a part of me also just misses being absorbed in a book because I think reading this year has become a bit more of a discipline than a pleasure. I'm one that I enjoy, but I miss that like mildly it's going to sound really bad, like mildly addictive quality of books. I can't remember the last book I experienced that phenomena, but maybe it's also a side effect of shortening attention spans of 2020 and living with all the forms of media and technology that we do. Mm. I will see you soon. Thank you for watching. Sorry for my bloodshot eye. I don't know what's happening there. I just had a shower. Probably some water got into it. Lots of love. Bye.